Well, it was a tough week for the state of Idaho. The COVID situation here has gotten progressively worse in recent days and weeks. St. Luke's chief medical officer, Dr. Frank Johnson, outlined for me how in several metrics, the health system has gotten worse in just the single week it's been since crisis standards of care were declared for the entire state of Idaho. As we chronicled that this week, we saw a lot of great questions from you stemming from our stories. And a popular topic this week is our conversation with Ada County Coroner Dottie Owens. A common question after that story was about death certificates and if the county coroner makes the declaration that a death was COVID related. So for all of you asking, here's what the coroner has to say. Depends on if it's um, jurisdictionally a coroner case. There are some that come in um, that you will see that we sign out. There's some that the hospital signs out. I, I authorize all the cremations for Ada County. Every cremation that happens in Ada County, we actually have to review the death certificate. And we're pulling a lot of the data off of that. And they're being vetted backwards, right? We're verifying that those are COVID deaths. And she adds that there are checks and balances within the entire system between the hospitals and the coroner's office just to make sure that every COVID death is confirmed and attributed correctly. Uh, coroner Owens told me that they don't want to ever give the impression that Idaho numbers or Ada County numbers are inflated or wrong. So they work very closely to ensure that everything checks out. Another comment we saw after our story touched on funeral homes and how they are dealing with the increase in COVID deaths in our community. Now, Owen says from what she is seeing firsthand, yes, funeral homes are having some issues with the curve, the COVID surge. I have two funeral homes that have actually chosen to opt out of our rotation, our monthly rotation, because they just they're full and they can't handle any more cases from us. Actually checked in with the number of funeral homes in the valley this past week and all but one had the exact same feedback. They are very busy and getting to the point where they have concerns about what's next and they share that concern with the medical community.